Hi YouTubers, it's Smoking SC77 again for the second second video today. Second video today. Why am I making another video today? You might ask. Well, I have a special video I want to do. It just came to me like, and I wanted to do it. So I hope this can fit into ten minutes because, uh, as you know, my camera won't record any longer than ten minutes. So this video is going to be how to start smoking a pipe. Okay. Um. <clears throat> If you watched my channel a long time ago, and I mean a long, long time ago, you know I actually made this video already. It was called How to Smoke a Pipe. And it was summer 2010. But forget that video, this video was kind of stupid. It was um, not very well planned, or not very well planned, but um, not good. So I figure I'll make this video again. Anyway, so I have a list right here of things you need to know to start smoking a pipe. Okay, first off. Health. So, health rated things. Now, obviously, to any form of tobacco, whether it's cigarettes, cigars, pipes, cigarillos, hookah, snuff, chew, dip, snooze, not good for you. It's not good for you at all. Tobacco is not good for your health. But, if you want to start smoking a pipe or enjoying tobacco, I would suggest um, start smoking a pipe rather than smoking cigarettes. Because even though uh, pipe smoking is not healthy by any means, it's not healthy by any means, um, it's not going to cause the same problems as cigarettes. It's not going to cause, you know, lung cancer and heart disease and emphysema. It's not going to cause you to go like <coughs> <coughs> and cough your brains out, you know. You know, it has negative consequences in other ways, you know, if you do it very consistently for a long period of time, and obviously that cough was fake, but I'm... Um, um, but, you know, give pipe smoking a try. Anyway, number two. Uh, you need to know the difference between pipe tobacco and rolling tobacco. Rolling tobacco is meant for cigarettes, not pipe tobacco. Pipe tobacco actually comes in a tin, or in bags, or in bulk, or in cans, like this one here. This is pipe tobacco, not rolling tobacco. Rolling tobacco is meant for cigarettes. It has chemicals in it. Not good at all. Stay away from it. It's crap. Anyway, number three. Um, beginner tobacco. As a beginner, you do not want to start off with someone like this. Uh, Bowlegged Bear by Cornell Deal. This is a strong, strong, strong Latakia blend. It has Perique in it, and um, you smoke this for the first time, it's going to knock you off your ass. It can make you to the point where you're sweating and nauseous, you know. Um, start off with aromatics. Most people start off with aromatics, or flavored pipe tobacco. Uh, anything like, you know, um... CEO, flavor, CEO flavors, you know, um, house blends from your local tobacconist are aromatic, you know, Boswell aromatics, you know, like Berry Cobbler or, you know, Chalk Cream, Piper's Pleasure, you know. Stay away from, you know, the stronger tobaccos before, once you get used to it. Your body will build up a, build up a natural tolerance to the nicotine over time, so, uh, <clears throat> okay, that's that. So, number four, um, different... Um, what? I'm trying to look. Sorry, I'm, excuse me, sorry. Kind of pipe and lighting. Okay, so there are different kinds of pipes, obviously. You know, I have several here. The most traditional one, not traditional, but the most common ones are briar pipes. Briar is a, um, a wood that comes from the Mediterranean, from the heat tree. This is a briar right here. Very nice pipe. Um... You might want to start with a basket pipe, which is cheaper as a state pipe. But, um, you don't want to go, you know, you don't want to spend like $100, $200 for your first pipe because you might not like it. So, other pipes that are popular are Meerschaum pipes. This is broken right here, but this is a little Meerschaum pipe. That's made of, um, <coughs> that's made of, um, Meerschaum, which is, a, which is a stone. All other pipes are clay pipes. Very traditional, very popular in the, the 17th and 18th century. Um, great pipes, you know, very dry smoking. Other popular ones are corn cob pipes. Um, these are ch dirt cheap, dirt cheap, and um, they last. As long as you're careful with them. Um, <clears throat> other pipes are pearwood pipes, olive wood pipes, uh, maple wood pipes, lemon wood pipes, what have you. So, anyway, uh, lighting. Now, for lighting a pipe, you can use a Bic lighter. Like this one. You can also use matches, as in matches! 860! Um, 
<clears throat> so things you want to avoid are like paper matches, you know, they're meant for cigarette smokers, you know, really cheap, cheap lighters, you know, big lighters are good, pipe lighters are good, zip lighters are okay. You find what works for you. Okay, um, um, I, I talked about lighters and matches, I mean, there's really no personal preference, I like lighters and matches, doesn't matter to me. What else? Packing. Uh, basically, you want to go with the rule, rule of thirds. You want to pack a small amount in the, in the pipe, then tap lightly, pack a, sm a, a bigger amount in the pipe, tamp um, more firmly, and then finally, you want to tap a, a pack a, a small, a, a more amount. You want to pack um, more into the pipe and tap very firmly. Some people say it's like a child's hand versus a woman's hand versus a man's hand. That's basically how firmly you pack. There's lots of videos on YouTube, just look into it. It's like a jungle, so you'll, I can't fit everything into this one video, so look around on YouTube. Uh, types of tobacco. Okay, there's many different types of tobacco. There's English, aromatic, Virginia's, vapors, um, English aromatics, uh, Burley's, American blends, lots of stuff. Again, aromatics are probably great, but yellow tobacco is because they're mild. However, if you've been smoking for a while, you're a heavy cigarette smoker, heavy cigar smoker, you might want to start with an English blend or a lot of Kia blend uh, because they're stronger. Uh, vapors are, are different. Every tobacco has its own different taste. Um, uh, I will tell you, English blends are very spicy and smoky, while aromatics are very sweet, while um, um, vapors are very citrusy and acidic-y. Acidic uh, find, what, find, what, find what works for you. So, again... Uh, tongue bite. Now, tongue bite is something that new pipe smokers will experience a lot. It's a uh, your tongue. Eh. It's irritation to your tongue in your in your mouth and your gums. You know, it's basically a chemical burn or a physical burn on your mouth. Uh, it's nothing to be concerned about from a health point of view. What people are like, well, I smoked this pipe and my tongue hurt. You know, nothing to be concerned about from a health point of view, unless you have something like a sore in your mouth or something like that. But um, uh, it's something to be concerned about, but it's annoying. So. To prevent it, puff slowly and avoid drinking alcoholic beverages and uh, soda while smoking or carbonated beverages while smoking. Uh, what else? Uh, pipe tool. Okay, this is a standard pipe tool, Czech pipe tool, comes from Czech Czechoslovakia. This tool right here is a scraper. This tool right here is a penetrator. It's broken a little bit. And here's a tamper. Scraper is used to scrape out the, the tobacco ashes. Penetrator is used to aerate the tobacco and Tampers used to um, uh, tamp, the tobacco, tamp, tamp the tobacco down. This is what you'll be using most of the time. Okay. Uh, types of pipes. I actually already went through that. Um, but I, can, I guess I can talk about a little bit about um, what pipes I recommend for, new, for beginners. Probably a corn cob, a stay pipe, basket pipe. Don't spend $100 on a, a new, you know, really nice pipe. <clears throat> so... Yeah, corn cobs are nice, clay pipes are nice also, they're cheap also. And finally, don't inhale. That's why I, I cannot stress enough. A lot of people are like, well, pipe, you know, pipe, you know, it's like pot, you know, it's like marijuana, you know, go, you go, and you inhale, it's going to make your coffee brains out. It's going to make you go, <clears throat> and coffee brains out, you know. Pipe smoke is not meant to be inhaled, it's a, it's a lot heavier and higher in tar than uh, cigarette smoke. Be careful, don't inhale. Though pipe smokers like to exhale through their nose quite frequently, so that's another thing called re retrohaling. It takes a little bit of practice, but um, yeah. So finally, enjoy. You know, pipe smoking is meant, is meant to be about enjoyment. It's one of the oldest forms of tobacco use. Um, it's actually the second form of old, second form of oldest tobacco use under nasal snuff. So enjoy it. You know, do it in moderation, and it's a fun hobby. Anyway, that's it. So peace and bye. See you later. Hope this video was helpful. Comment, rate, subscribe, personal message me, do video response, all that kind of stuff. Peace and bye. See you later. Bye.